the Bani Adam has three nature. The first nature is called uh, Nafs al-Ammara. Nafs al-Ammara. Inna nafsi la ammara tum bisu. My nafs commands to evil. This is the first nature of the human being. Now, if you watch the child after its beautiful state of fitra, which is the, the first year of life, you will see absolute submission. Absolute and total submission. But as the child begins to enter into the egocentric stage, this, the stage of the nafs, al-ammara, where it only sees itself and it becomes the little emperor. And the parents are these servants. They become the slaves of the infant. When it enters into that stage, it only knows nafsi nafsi. And what we have to teach it is, no, there's other people in the world beside you, little boy or little girl. This is what the parent has to impart to the child. And it's a difficult lesson and many people fail to learn it. Many people will spend their entire lives in that infantile egocentric stage in which they simply say, nafsi nafsi. I'm all that exists and the world is here to serve me. And this is a sick and diseased state for the adult, for the child. It's a, it's a wonderful stage of life, you see. I mean, we laugh at it and, and it's beautiful. We don't laugh at it when they're 30 years old and they're still doing the same game. But when they're little children, it, it's, it's cute, it's beautiful. Because they're غير mukallaf, they have no taklif, they have no responsibility. And this is a stage that Allah has created in them for a wisdom, for a reason. So this nafs al-ammara is this nafs that says, do it, do it, you see, do it for you. Do it for you. Now this, if you look, this is, this is shaitan's game again. And the modern world is the world of the self. Everything you see out you is calling to the self, whispering constantly, you're number one. You're the most important thing in the world. Go for all the gusto you can. You only go around once. You only live once. Get all you can. Do unto others before they do unto you. Right? This is shaitan's, this, this is his whispering into the hearts of human beings. If you don't get him, he's gonna get you. And this is what the modern corporate mentality, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, you see. And dogs, and this is what Sayyidina Isa in a Muslim tradition said, dunya jifatun wa ahluha kilabun alayha. The world is like a dead carcass and its people are like dogs around it. There was a, an advertisement that I saw in a magazine and it was an advertisement for learning how to become a more ruthless businessman and it had a bunch of wolves. That was the advertisement. I mean, I'm not making this up. It had a bunch of wolves and it said, learn how to work in a pack. You see, in other words, as a corporate team, you can eat more people. And then it said, but good for lone wolves too. You see, so they're already telling you what they think of you. You're a predatory animal. You're a predatory animal. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us an, a different picture of the human being. A, a different picture. Inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun. I know what you don't know. So what is this thing that Allah knows that the angels didn't know? That the human being has a ruh, that he's a batani creature as well as a vahiri creature. That he's not simply body, that he's not simply hawa and shahawat, that he's not simply his passions and his bestial nature that calls him to sowing corruption in the earth, that he's not simply a nafs al amara, he's a nafs al lawama, which is the next stage. Now, nafs al lawama is where you move into a cognitive faculty that recognizes right from wrong. And this is part of the socialization that's needed from the parents and the society to teach the child.